Hey guys, how's it going? And it's been a while, I'm sorry about that. But I wanted to show you guys a little 1.13 thing and I'll be making some new tutorials coming up here probably for basic commands for 1.13. Uh, but anyways, let's get into what this is about. So here we have draw circle and draw sphere. And I thought I'd combine them into the same thing. So I'll show you what they do and then I'll show you how they work. So this draws a sphere like that. It takes 127 commands. Look how accurate that is. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, that draws a circle, sorry. Then this will draw a sphere. Just like that, pretty accurate, pretty good, pretty good, looks looks like a sphere. Now, you may be wondering how this does it, and it uses functions and recursions, so it's a little complicated. I will have a link to the files in the description. Um, but uh, the gist of it is you have this armor stand, or any entity that you want, you make it spin its head around and around, playing a particle in the direction it's looking over and over and over until it reaches the front again. And that's pretty much it. Um, so this makes it start at the zero, zero point because it has to start facing zero. And then this will play the function until it gets back to zero. So let's look at the actual function. So this is the draw circle function. I have this extra thing for, um, that's just for if you want to use it with blocks. Um, but so first it plays a particle that is one block in the direction that the armor stand is facing. So this way, one right here. So it plays it one right in front. And then the next thing that it does is it teleports it a certain amount. Uh, it rotates its head a certain amount. So when you pull it, when you use this TP command, it's going to rotate the head 11.25. Um, now this number can be any number you want. And the smaller the number, the more accurate of a circle you'll get. The bigger the number, the um, the less accurate of a circle. So if I make this 45, um, well, I'll change it to 45 so that you can see how to mess with these numbers, okay? So then it executes unless the Y rotation, which is your rotation looking like this in a, in a, in a left to right way, it's Y rotation, um, is between zero and this number. This number is one less than this number. So if I put, let's say 44, that's what we wanna do for this one. Now, the reason for that is if you start at zero, facing zero, zero, right? Then you teleport your head 45 degrees, right? If I put 45 here, it'll find that I'm between this range and it won't play the function again. But if I put 44, I'm not at 44, I'm at 45. So then it'll do it again, play another 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45. And then it plays it when, I, then it makes me face back to zero and then it will not play this function again because this only plays the function if you're not between those this range for your rotation. Okay, so it does that. And um, the reason why I put a range and not just zero is because sometimes when you put a number here, it doesn't rotate you back to zero. You'll rotate a little bit past. If you put like, uh, if I, I mean, so a circle has 360 degrees. So I'll put 359. Well, if I do it, one time I get to 359. If I do it a second time, I'm going to go past zero. So you can see really quickly how that changes. So let me type reload and just do this and you'll see that there's only eight dots there. And it plays the uh, 31 commands in total, but that's not so bad. So there you go. So that's how that works. Um, now that function will be in the description. You need to change the data pack, which is this test part, and you have to change the folder that it's in because you could have it not in a folder, just like that, or you could have the function in a folder. This is just the pathway to where you put it. Um, so now Sphere. Sphere works with this circle, but instead it's doing the circle at the circle, if you get what I'm saying. Oh, and you can see how that's less. Yeah, that's interesting, okay. So this one makes the armor stand facing completely up zero negative 90 makes it face completely up and then it plays the sphere so if we open the sphere the sphere command is going to first play the circle command so it draws that little circle then it rotates the head on the y-axis up and down so it rotates the head 45 degrees this way then it checks if the head is facing completely down like that and if it's not facing completely down, it plays the sphere function again. So it looks straight up, draws a circle, um, and the circle will be a vertical circle because uh, I'm looking straight up and that's how the ray casting works. It goes in the direction I'm facing. So since I'm looking straight up, it draws a vertical circle. Then I look 
45 degrees, it's going to draw a circle that's angled. And then keep going until it draws a circle that's flat, like just like we saw with that. And then I'll keep going down until it drops, draws some more vertical circles. And eventually it comes around to the top and you get that nice little shape. Um, now let me make this 45. And uh, all you have to do if you want to make this more or less accurate, the bigger the number here, the less accurate the sphere will be, the smaller the more. So do make it to 45, change this, reload. And you'll see that's not even close to a sphere because we not only made the circle inaccurate, but we also made the circle of the circle inaccurate. So makes it very much not sphere-like, uh, not spherical. So let's go with the extreme case where we make it really accurate. Let's go with one. And let's go with one. And let's go with uh, exactly zero because I mean, there's zero to zero. <laughs> Look at that, that is what we call lag. And you can see that it wasn't even able to make the whole thing because we made it so accurate that it exceeds the command limit. So let's make it five between zero and four and let's make this five. There is a limit to how much you can do because of the command limit. So there you go. I think that's, that's not at the limit, but that's pretty close. But there you go. You have a pretty, that's a freaking solid sphere. Look at that. Anyway. So that's how you do that. Now, one last additional thing is you can mess around with these to create some funny effects. So you can go two, negative two, two like that, and slash reload. And that created a sphere that has open top and bottom. The top is more open than the bottom. Uh, there's also, you can go like that. And just like that. And that makes the bottom more closed. Um, you can make this positive. You can just mess with those three numbers and get different shapes. Uh, yeah, it, it's it's something to play around with. Um, I don't know exactly why it does these things, but it does them. And uh, you can play around with it because of that. That does a half circle. Um, just, you know, just mess around with it. You can use, uh, you can replace this with set block uh, five stone, just like that and then I want to teleport. I'm gonna, hold on, let me just teleport this thing up in the sky so that it doesn't mess up. All right, there we go. So that made a nice looking sphere right there. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. And then we can switch, get rid of it with some air. Um, you could probably make a brush tool that's like uh, with uh, World Edit, how they have the brush tool. Um, you could probably do that. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much all there is to this, guys. I'll leave the commands in the description for you to get if you want to play around with them. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.